my god. That is so, nice. that is yeah, so cool. Hello, hello. This is my first time using this as a microphone, so I don't know how this is gonna work. So some of you guys might have found me through my moving series or my previous apartment hunting videos. I recently moved into a nice, beautiful loft in Brooklyn, and I wanted to show you guys some of the other options that I was considering or looked at during the entire chaotic mess that was my apartment hunting process. All in all, this probably took us two months to find a place. Also, before we officially start, I did want to just preface that I will be moving around in the apartment because I wanted to show you guys different corners of my space as we go along in the apartment hunting journey so that you can get to see the real state of my apartment right now. It is very real, very messy. <laughs> Wait, that was kind of funny. So before I show you guys all the apartments, I wanted to go through a very quick checklist of things that we were looking for in our apartment. So for context, I moved in with my boyfriend. Yes very exciting we started off with a budget of three thousand to four thousand dollars just in new york city especially around this time it's been so hard to get a decently priced apartment so this is what we were looking for we were looking for a one to two bedroom apartment ideally two bedrooms because both of us work from home during certain days of the week and so it'd be nice to have a personal office space instead of using the living room as an office. Honestly, with the budget that we had, I was thinking that two bedrooms would be possible or likely because my roommate and I lived in a two bedroom apartment and our rent was 3,400 last year. They did increase my rent to 43,000, 4,300, 4,300 <laughs> this past year or so. Realistically, it was a little bit harder for us to get a two-bedroom. One of the requirements that I had was I needed sunlight, not just because I film videos, but also because I am a dedicated plant mom, and so I need my plants to thrive. And as you can see, there are some plants hanging. The ones up there are fake. So because of that, I wanted south or east facing windows. In terms of location, Honestly, we were pretty open to a lot of spaces. So Brooklyn. So for me, I was also looking at Long Island City just because it's better bang for your buck and lots more luxury buildings. Quality of life would be a little bit higher, but I also knew that it would be probably harder to get around and go to places. Is there anything else, James, that we wanted? Adding on in-unit washer dryer or in-building washer dryer, that was a requirement. I think it was more of a requirement for James because he had to take his laundry to different launderers, laundromats <laughs> in his apartment because he didn't have washer and dryer in unit and I did. And then the non-deal breakers, nice to have for us for elevator buildings. Amenities is also something that would be nice to have. So gym and building and different things like that. But we we're also okay without those amenities. So those were all our requirements and now we can get started with the actual apartments. Welcome to the couch corner. This is James's old couch that we are temporarily using, but it's kind of small. So we are looking for a better couch. But the first apartment is actually an apartment we found in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. It was 4,300 and very, very modern and contemporary. You can see there are black accents and the ceilings were so high and it was just really new because the place was still being built up when we were visiting it. I would say the size was pretty decent and the windows were really big, but it was north facing. So that was one of the caveats. You can see that there's not really that much sunlight that comes in, but the windows were really nice. So I'll give it that. So we did see a couple of units in this apartment building. Most of them just look the same. I personally really, really like this place, but the only thing is we didn't realize there was a broker's fee. And so even though it was listed at 4,300, that would come out to be 4,800 or 4,900. And that was just way beyond our budget. The pros of this unit is everything was so freaking new. And I just love the way that it was designed. The other thing is there was an elevator, so no need to climb stairs with that. But on top of the north facing windows, there was no washer and dryer. And so it didn't really make sense for the amount that we were paying because even though the market was really hot, it was still like reasonably hot. So we ended up not taking it, even though it was very new and renovated and had some of the things that we wanted. And now I'm gonna take you guys into my office nook. 
in the bedroom this is one side of my room that is not fully furnished yet things are probably subject to moving before i do my full apartment tour but the second apartment that we saw was actually in downtown brooklyn downtown brooklyn is an area that i think the two of us were pretty excited about just because it is close to manhattan and we have some friends that live there and on top of that the area is really nice so this unit that we saw was 3800 with no fee so it was very much within our budget it was a really nice building actually so there was a doorman there was an elevator and it was a huge building i think the agent that showed us around said there were 400 units which is quite a lot of units let me just tell you i love this apartment so much so you walk in and there's a narrow hallway but then you enter into this huge okay actually it was really small you enter into this small living room that felt really huge because the windows were so big and tall the one thing with the layout of this apartment is because the living room was kind of curved and the windows were all along this curvature you wouldn't really get a lot of usable space like if you had a couch you would kind of have to put it at a diagonal or along one of the sides and then your tv would be along a diagonal so it was a little bit hard to orchestrate but it was south facing and there was so much sunlight the exact square footage was 663 square feet but because of the narrow hallway and then also the way that the rooms were configured it just kind of it wasn't a very efficient use of space and the living room was relatively small but the finishes were very modern and very sleek and this unit had a washer and dryer it had great sunlight as you can see from the windows and almost floor to ceiling windows in the bedroom as well I would say that it was decently sized and could fit the full-size bed that we have but the highlight of this place was probably the amenities by far the best roof i've ever seen in a new york apartment i've never been on a roof that had such a great view of the city and there was also built-in seating and plants everywhere and i say this would be such an upgrade for my crappy roof that i had in my last apartment but the reason we ended up not getting this one is because the living room pretty much had space to only fit a couch and we were also really early in our apartment hunt so we thought that maybe we could find something a little bit bigger and better for our purposes i will say if you end up in this building everyone's so nice there probably the best experience i've ever had viewing an apartment so i really appreciated that he did show us another unit that was way beyond our budget it was five, i think it was five thousand dollars so that was not something that we were actually considering but this unit was really good but contrary to the first apartment i think the amenities on this one were so nice the entire lower area was basically just game rooms and movie rooms and multiple outdoor spaces and you could host people and i'm a hoster like i love to host people at my apartment and people on my roof the whole time i was just envisioning all the gatherings that i would be having with friends but for good reason we did not take this and yeah that was the second apartment now i'm going to take you guys to my sleeping corner probably not very exciting but it is where I sleep. <laughs> this third apartment was in Murray Hill, which was an area that we're pretty open to because it was in Manhattan. It was $4,000, but with the fees, it would be $4,400. This was in a luxury building in Manhattan, so it had an elevator and a doorman, but it was somewhat of an older luxury apartment, so you can see that the appliances were somewhat older. I will say I really like the layout because the kitchen was open to the living room so you could kind of just see your eating space and then see the kitchen back that was pretty intuitive but it had a nice corner window in the kitchen but i think the main highlight was the living room space was huge for manhattan standards it also had a balcony but the only caveat with that is we wouldn't be able to use the balcony for a couple of months because it was in construction so you can kind of just see what it looks like i'd say the bedroom size was pretty decent the closet size was pretty decent as well but the highlight for this place similar to the last place is probably the amenities we weren't expecting this place to have a ton of amenities beyond the apartment space the landlord took us downstairs to where everything was and then there was so much gym equipment there was an entire pool that looks so freaking nice there was a yoga studio. I don't even work out that much, but seeing this made me want to work out so badly. So yeah, that was really great. I think James was more sold on this too because he's very active. And so he wanted to use all the 
amenities but we ended up putting an offer for this place for the asking price i think a hundred dollars more than the asking price and basically the way that the market was working at that time was people weren't really going by the rental price like if you really want an apartment you would have to put in more money or at least that's what our experience was i don't know if that was the same case for other people but we did put in an offer they picked someone else who paid more than us so that was kind of sad but it's okay because we have housing right now so we're not salty or bitter now let us go to the balcony corner welcome to the messy balcony corner it's actually where i throw a lot of my plants so probably one of my favorite corners of the room the next apartment was in turtle bay so also manhattan i don't really think i like this apartment unit from looking on street easy which is where we found all of these apartments but this one was in turtle bay it was 4200 when we saw it listed but because i think the photos weren't that great on street easy the price just kept lowering for a couple of weeks before we were finally like okay let's see it this apartment had a very long hallway when you entered and it looks kind of dim but honestly when you got to the very end it was so bright because of the centerpiece which is this greenhouse at the very end of the apartment probably cannot tell from the video but it is 20 foot ceilings and a ton of sunlight just coming in from the curved like window structure oh this one was so beautiful in person technically it was a studio but it was pretty sizable it was 750 square feet and then it had a little sleeping nook which makes it lofted basically but going back to the windows they were south facing so it was sunlight the whole entire day but this was my definition of an artist loft like i can imagine a painter living there or just someone who's very artistic that needed a lot of floor space and honestly i love this one so much also the perks with this unit was that it had a wonderful view of manhattan and long island city there was a water on one corner and then just buildings the view is unobstructed but now going into the cons of the apartment the bedroom was not enclosed you'd walk up these stairs to the bedroom and then the bedroom kind of just overlooked everything it was also kind of small so it was like a nine by nine bedroom so it probably fit enough space for like a full-size bed and that'd be it and i think for our situation because we needed two office spaces we couldn't really handle just having a loft space but there were more pros to this place one of it was random cabinets and closets so the broker showed us a ton of closet space there was also a harry potter closet so it was underneath the stairs slash loft area and then it just had a ton of space to store stuff which i think in new york storage is a huge issue so we really needed storage space because we have so much crap that we needed to throw places and this was good for that purpose but then more negatives the bathroom was really underwhelming and in person it was actually kind of dirty too the kitchen was better but it was tucked into this windowless corner which i thought was a little bit depressing one of my goals with a new apartment is to cook more and do more adulting things and having a kitchen that was tucked into a corner probably would decentivize me from cooking more and so i think because of that, I really didn't like the kitchen space. And then the last thing that the agent showed us was the roof space, which I thought was really nice. It'd be a nice place to host people, but I that wasn't a huge selling point for me just because the entire apartment was not very favorable for us. So ultimately we didn't take this one because we needed an extra office and we thought it'd be nice just to have a separate bedroom as well. And you can hear New Yorkers beeping in the back. But yeah, that was the fourth apartment. And I'm kind of running out of corners to show you guys in my apartment, but I think I'm just gonna take you to the stairs because we have stairs in this apartment. So my apartment does have stairs, which is something that I never really expected to have in an apartment, especially in New York. So we are on our stair corner. And now let's look at apartment five. So there were actually two units in this building that we saw through video. We never actually saw this in person, but these were the videos that the broker had sent us. Both were a little bit over budget, so they were- I said the wrong number here, but both apartments were around $4,500. But we still got the videos because we wanted to see the place. The photos looked really nice. They were one bedroom, one bathrooms, and this one was also in Williamsburg. I really like the design of this place because there are black accents, which was similar to, I think, the second apartment that we saw. And I haven't really seen apartments like this 
it was a little bit industrial a little bit modern very new the ceiling seemed really high from the videos and we could tell that the windows were really big as well i will say the bathroom was probably the best bathroom that we had seen so i really like that the living room space was decently sized and it looked nice the bedroom was kind of caved out of the living room space in the second apartment, so I don't know how I felt about that one, but overall it was just above budget, didn't have everything that we had wanted, and there was a washer dryer, which was a good part about that, but I think it was just too overpriced for us. Okay, now we are gonna go to the... I don't know where to take you guys. We're gonna go to the loft. I realize this has become an unofficial apartment tour, but that is okay. James is in the background, but apartment six. This is also another apartment that we only saw on video. This one was in Carroll Gardens in Brooklyn, and it was 3,200 with a fee, so around 3,500, which I would say was a really reasonable price. It was one bed, one bath, and one of the things that was listed on Street Easy was that there were heated floors on this. I have never been to an apartment in New York with heated floors, so I thought that was so cool. Yeah, this place was pretty new. It had really new appliances. Um, it had a nice balcony corner, but we decided it was nice, but not really functional because it was somewhat small. It also had a washer dryer, which was very useful, but I don't think we were wowed by the apartment. And I also think Carroll Gardens was a little bit farther for us. So that's why we ultimately didn't even see this apartment building in person, but I thought it was a good contender for the price and also for what it was uh but yeah and you can kind of tell what this corner is going to be we have a sewing machine which james our avid sewer at home ironically because i used to do a lot more sewing content all right apartment seven the next apartment was in les and this one was a one bedroom for 4250 with no fee this one was an l-shaped apartment so basically you walk into this big room the kitchen's on the left or straight across when you enter the apartment and it was a nice kitchen i think it was pretty spacious as well as the entire apartment like you can fit a dining table and then on the other side you can fit a living room and yeah so space wise it was really nice um i will say because it was long and l-shaped i think the sunlight wouldn't really hit into the kitchen at all and so it was kind of just concentrated in the area of the living room but yeah, you basically walk down and on the other side of the apartment is the bedroom. I was kind of confused because I don't think this was first floor, but then the patio area was kind of nested underground. But yeah, there was a backyard space, which I thought was really nice. As an avid plant mom, I would have loved to have like a little garden in the back, but ultimately I did not really like how dark the bedroom was. So we ended up not going with this one. This one also had a dishwasher. Also, my camera just died, so I apologize. I'm gonna move very soon, but similar to the last one, we didn't get to see this apartment in person and we were totally fine with it because it wasn't one of our top choices. But yeah, that was this apartment. My camera did actually die. So this is my work from home view. This is what all my coworkers see when I work from home. So apartment number eight, this one was in Brooklyn Heights. And I actually really love this one. So this one was $4,000 with a fee, which was about $4,400. I think that was above our budget, but I was willing to splurge because this one was really nice. This one was a penthouse apartment with one bedroom. It was on the very top floor, hence penthouse. So there was a skylight and it had really, really high ceilings. It was blue themed which I felt neutral about. But I really loved the white brick and I thought it added a lot of character. The one thing about this apartment is it was a four floor walk up. So that would be a little bit chaotic trying to get home every day from work. It did have a washer and dryer tucked in the kitchen, but it was also railroad styled. So the rooms were on two other ends of the apartment, which was fine, but that meant that one side of the apartment would be getting more sunlight, whereas the other one wouldn't. The bathroom was smack in the middle of both ends of the apartment, but it was really nice. Like the glass shower that was in the apartment, I really like that. And then moving into the bedroom. This bedroom had two connected closets, which I thought was very useful because we definitely would need that space. 
The bedroom was decently sized, but there wasn't that much sun coming in because it was a railroad style department and sun was more facing the other side. But I like the layout, even though everything was separated. We really, really wanted to put in an application, but we couldn't see this in person because we were traveling that weekend. And so we ended up just passing up on this one and I felt a little bit of regret afterwards but i think in the long run it worked out for us so we're okay that we didn't get this one all right now we are in the closet corner because i have run out of corners and yes we do have a walk-in closet so there's more clothes on this side of the the closet but honestly we still need more closet space which is crazy anyways on to the next apartments this one was actually a very high contender for us because this was nearing when we needed to move and so there weren't a lot of options that we had left so this apartment was in long island city it was a one bed one bath south facing condo it was four thousand dollars which was decent on our budget and i think there was a one month broker fee but i could be wrong this one was really clean it had nice appliances it had a huge living room that fit basically a whole desk plus other things in the living room like you can see the tenants in this apartment really had a lot of space to put stuff yeah moving into the bathroom i like this bathroom a lot there is a full width mirror with vanity lighting behind it so very sleek nice touch to the apartment um it's also decently sized so the bedroom was big enough to fit an entire office space on one corner and then it had these really nice windows it was south facing but i think it was a little gloomy when this video was sent over to us so it doesn't really capture the lighting in the apartment very well but yeah this one was like a luxury apartment building so it had different amenities it had a washer and dryer it had elevator doorman and a gym so overall we really liked it but we were a little bit hesitant to put in the application at that point we were still holding off in hopes that we'd find something really good and yeah when we when we ended up putting in the application they had already accepted some other application so yeah that was a loss on our end but that brings us to the last apartment and i'm very excited to show you guys this one one more and we are on our last apartment, which you guys can probably expect is the same one that we are in. This is also my favorite apartment that we saw out of all of the apartments. So I'm so excited to show you guys the footage that we got. This is the cozy loft nook. The light started falling off, so it's kind of just scattered all around. The very last apartment, this one was in Brooklyn. I'm not going to say where, just for privacy purposes. Also, my footage is embarrassingly shaky so i apologize but there will be an official apartment tour coming so it, it'll have a better view of the apartment this apartment is a loft apartment so it's broken down into a living room bedroom and a loft area it's around 750 square feet and it is east facing so it doesn't get all day light which was my preference but it had huge windows in the living room and it kind of just lets in a lot of light throughout the day and then direct sunlight during the morning hours the bedroom on this one was probably three times the bedroom size that i had in my last apartment so i was very very happy with the size on top of that there was a walk-in closet which i thought was really nice as you can tell the windows and ceilings were huge that's one of the selling points of this apartment that i really really loved i was genuinely surprised by how great the layout was one thing i didn't expect from looking at the photos is the staircase was really really steep when we visited i really thought i was gonna die just walking up the staircase because it's practically at like a 90 degree angle but it's okay once you get up to the top it's a great view you look down at everything and it just looks so beautiful i think that was probably the biggest advantage with this apartment is there was just extra space at the top and it just added a lot more to the space but the biggest selling point and probably the question i get asked most often is how much i pay for this apartment this was such a steal this was 3200 with a broker's fee so it's not 32 flat it kind of rounds up to being like 34, 3500. But when we actually saw this apartment on Street Easy, it was listed, but it wasn't available for viewing. So we had to kind of take a bet on the photos. We offered $150 more than listing just so that we could get the apartment secured, even without seeing it. Yeah, the broker was really nice. He was saying great things about the apartment before we saw it. So that kind of reassured us. And then when we saw it in person, we were like, okay, this is it. I really think if we had not offered a little bit more than asking price, we probably wouldn't have gone in the apartment. I was the one that suggested we do that. So I'm gonna take credit for that. This apartment had almost everything we were looking for 
as a washer dryer, nice big windows, an extra office space for one of us. The only caveats, which I don't think we really care that much about is as a walk up. So we do have to go up two flights of stairs, which isn't even that bad in New York. And there's not really many amenities. Actually, there's no amenities. There's no gym, there's no doorman, there's no elevator. But that kind of concludes the apartment hunting journey. But yeah, I'm really excited because we're in the process of furnishing right now. And I just can't wait to show you guys how the end product looks. Let me know what apartment was your favorite because I definitely think the last one was my favorite, but the other ones were quite nice too. Some of the other ones I really thought we were gonna live there, but ended up not working out. But yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a phenomenal day and I will see you in the next video.